In today's video, I want to speed up my custom terminal fetcher utility that I made a while back and made a video about it. And I made it distro specific, really to keep it fast. But I noticed that while it was about twice as fast as screen fetch, it was only slightly faster, if even faster at all, than NeoFetch. And then when I tried PFetch, PFetch, would, while it pulled less information, it was ridiculously fast. And these fetchers are pretty much all distro agnostic. And my distro specific fetcher was lagging behind. So this just won't do. Because in the immortal words of Freaky Bobby, if you ain't first, you're last. Let's get to it. So to give you some context, here's how fast ScreenFetch, NeoFetch, and PFetch are on my system. And I'm also going to run my older Deb Info script, just so you can kind of get a baseline for what we're talking about here, and the minuscule amounts of time that I'm worried about for some odd reason. So let's get started. Let's run the time command for ScreenFetch. And since I increased the font size, it wrapped around and kind of messed up the image, but whatever, we'll get over it. The time it took was a little over half a second, which is not a lot of time. And honestly, it's fine. But if we can make it faster, why not make it faster? So let's look at NeoFetch. So let's time this. So NeoFetch took way less time, so about half the time, or a little less than half the time. So now let's time my Deb Info script, or my old one rather. So we're going to clear the screen, and we're going to time Deb Info old, because I renamed it. It takes 0.255 seconds, which is still really quick. But if you notice, we're pulling in less information than NeoFetch did, but we're taking longer to do it. And I think I can do better than that. So if we go back and look at the script itself, because I'm just going to pull it up in Mousepad, and here we are. I'm just gonna, I got the script pulled up in Mousepad, and we're just going to look at some of these uh, variables that I've declared here and you know this is and this right here would be the output so when we declare our variables I I did not choose them wisely because the, some of them take way more time than they should so and I'll kind of give you a hint a peek at the new script so let's look at some of these commands and time them as compared to the, their replacements and see how much time we're actually going to save here. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to run some of the older commands and make and see how much time we're going to save by running replacement commands. So this one that I'm about to run here is for echoing out the OS. And that took 0 0.048 seconds. Not bad, but anyway, let's let's look at another one. Because I went through this line by line and seeing what I could replace it with that would be faster. And even though it took you know 48 hundredths of a second I think we can still do better. This one took one one thousandth of a second, and I can pretty that up. So let's let's run that command again, and let's get this line by itself. And I know this is not going to be a tutorial on sed or awk or whatever, but I'm just going to run some sed commands and get it by itself and grip and that kind of stuff. So let's let's grip pretty pretty name. 
pipe so time cat etsy os dash release pipe through grip pretty underscore name they took no extra time and we got it by itself so let's run let's let's pipe it through said again or through said rather said and we're going to substitute pretty underscore name and that equal sign with nothing but we're still going to have these parentheses so i'm going to call up said one more time to get rid of those so we're going to pipe that through said again and substitute a parentheses with nothing but i got to put g here so it will do globally because i want to get rid of this one and this one and this is our output dev1 gnu linux 4 chimera slash series and that is exactly what i want and it took two one thousandths of a second that's much better so that command got implemented into my other script Another one that took, relatively speaking, of course, that took a lot longer than it should or took forever to do was the, my package count. So I was running apt list dash dash installed pipe through WC dash L. And I'm sure you've seen all the Linux YouTubers do this to give you a count of how many packages are on their system. So don't judge me, I've got a bunch. So let's, let's just run this command <laughs> and we'll see. So that took 0.124 seconds, and I've got 1,486 packages or whatever on the system. So now let's look at the replacement command because we can do way better than that. We're going to replace apt list dash dash installed with dpk dpkg dash l, and we're going to replace wc dash l with grep dash c for account. So let's run that command and see how long it took. That took way less time, comparatively speaking, anyway. So in that, and that gave us 1485, which is honestly fine. We're not building cabinets here. And another one that took a long time was this monstrosity of a command that I had for listing out my CPU model. And when I wrote this command, I was really just playing around with it as much as I possibly could to get the syntax, to get the phrasing of it just right for my older Intel system. But it, and I just had to tweak it just a little bit when I switched over to AMD. So what I'm going to do is run that command. Right here. So we're going to LS CPU and then grip model name, and then said name, and said model, and then get rid of uh, brackets and parentheses and all kind of stuff. So let's just run this command. And you see we get AMD Ryzen 9 3900X 12 core processor. And that took 0 0.022, 0 0.022 seconds, which is really fast, but let's make, let's make that output better looking without taking any more time. So I'm going to replace that command with this one. It's still an LS CPU, but we're going to make it way better. So we're going to LS CPU and then grip model space name and pipe that through awk and then print columns four, five, and six. And that's it. So let's time that. It takes the same amount of time, but we get a better looking output. I'll take that too. Now for the GPU, the GPU, I went with a completely different command altogether. This one here was the original command. It was using GLX info and grip and said and all kind of stuff to, to get my phrasing right. And then I had to pipe it through all can get rid of the device colon, whatever. And yeah, it was just not a, not a great thing to run. So as you can see, device, colon, AMD, Radeon, 5700 XT, and that took 0 0.066 seconds. So that command got replaced with 
LSPCI. And I piped it through said to get rid of some brackets and then used Alt and printed out certain columns. Ah, it didn't, it didn't want to copy. And see, that one took less time and gave us Radeon RX 5700 slash 5700 XT. I like that just as good as the, just as good as this one right here. And of course, with me running this right here and printing out certain columns, that's going to be specific to my system. But honestly, that's kind of the point. I'm really meaning this to be a template. So if somebody wants to take this and customize it and make it work for their system, they can have, they can have the, the fastest terminal fetcher around. So let's take a look at the new script and see what all I've added and how much faster it is. And yeah, let's just take a look. So we're going to clear the screen and we're going to run time on debinfo dash new. And you see we're pulling in more information than debinfo dash old. And it's taking 0 0.077 seconds. So we made this a whole lot faster. This is actually about in line with pfetch now. Because I'm going to run time on pfetch. 0 0.071 seconds. So we're almost within margin of error with pfetch. And we're pulling in a lot more information. Now, I wrote one for Debian that I didn't pull down called dinfo or deb fetch, whatever I re I renamed them all the other day, but I didn't have one for dev one, so I wrote one for dev one and I named it dev fetch, and I've got one for and I've got this one up here for dev one as well. So I'm going to show you that because I'm running dev one and that's what pops up when I open a terminal. So let's clear the screen and let's time. Dev1 fetch. And that runs in 0 0.069 seconds. That's pretty doggone good. So now let's clear the screen again and let's time my smaller custom script that I wrote called dev fetch. That runs in 0 0.027 seconds. And that pulls in all the information or the same information, kind of, sort of, that pfetch is pulling in. But since it's distro specific and it's for my system, it's super fast. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show if you wanted to have, if you wanted to take some of these commands and kind of make your own fetcher, or even take some of these commands and put them into like a bar script or into your polybar or something like that, feel free. Uh, honestly, I, I borrowed some of these commands from different places online and I found some, uh, I found some other commands like from, uh, what's that site called? Anyway, the name escapes me now, but I found some of these commands online and I just kind of played around with them until I got it right and here's the result. So that's about all, all I've got for today. So, I mean, if you wanted to uh, take some of these examples to uh, create your own custom fetcher, honestly, feel free. I borrowed some of the commands myself, so I'm not losing anything. <laughs> so anyway, there, those are just a few examples of the changes I made to the fetcher as a whole. And... I'm going to leave a link down to my GitHub page if you'd like to check it out, you know, for yourself. And and I know, I know, before anybody makes a comment saying, hey, Mike, that's not going to work on my system, you know, because you used, you printed off different columns in your commands, and that's not going to work on my system because I'm running an Intel with an NVIDIA card and, you know, yada, yada, yada. I mean, well, honestly, that's kind of the point. I mean, you can use my script 
but you're going to have to customize it more than likely because this I made this to work really for me. I mean, I did declare a lot of variables, so I mean, you're not going to have to do all the work. But, I mean, you can use it, customize it, and honestly, you can have the fastest terminal fetcher around. So, I mean, you can have it, you can call up your terminal by clicking the button or hitting the key, the key combination or key binding or whatever. And it's going to be up, it's going to have your fetcher run, and you're just going to be ready to take your command before you're done picking your finger up off the button. So, that's good. Anyway, y'all have a nice day. I appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one.